Ryan Duffy here with the next pedal from Dunlop. You may know me from such bands as and or even this is the new MXR M82 bass envelope filter. Let's give it a listen. That was the slap, and if I play with the finger style, you can get the more. That's kind of more of a, you can hear the popping of the envelope filter. Now, what an envelope filter does is it'll take your sound and apply a wah-wah type effect to it. It's like using a wah-wah, but instead of controlling the amount of the wah with your foot, you control it with your dynamics, um, i.e. how hard you play. So the harder you play, the more this wah sound is going to open up. Let me give you an example. I'll, I'll play soft first and gradually increase, increase the dynamics. playing real soft and you can hear that the, the envelope's not going to open until I play really hard. So that's the envelope filter with the dynamics. Now you can set the dynamics to anything you want. Um, if you have a lighter touch or basses that have different outputs such as a passive or an active bass, they have, have drastically different amounts of attack that's going to hit the front end of this circuit. And so there's a knob for that. That's the sensitivity knob. So if I set the sensitivity anywhere more that way, it's going to be easier to get the effect to come into play. Check it out. Every note I'm playing is, is coming through on the envelope. And if I kind of take that knob and pull it back here, all the notes should be kind of under that bubble of wah. Yeah, they're not even popping out at all. So let me bring it up a little bit and see if I can get them to pop up a little bit. takes a lot more input to get that up so let me, let me pull it here I should probably be able to get the, the notes to pop when I play real hard put it there and then that way I can play a normal bass line Thank <laughs> you. 
this first knob here, the, de the decay knob, what this is going to do is set the frequency at which the whole wah effect stops at. So if I have it cranked all the way up here, you're not going to hear much of an effect. It's gonna, the the wah uh, is going to stop at a certain frequency that's still pretty high. You can hear it wah a little bit, but it's not giving you that traditional envelope wow all the way down. <laughs> filter in there. Sub-frequencies. To me, it sounds like a almost like a bubblegum pop, like a real big pop on the bottom. frequency in there. On this pedal, they got, you'll see they do it a little bit different than, than the MXR octave pedal. They got, instead of one knob that has the dry signal blended in, you have two knobs, a dry knob and an effects knob. If I take the dry signal all the way out, you're going to hear just the effect. <laughs> That's just the effect. I'm going to pull the dry signal in there a little bit and, and see what happens. It'll probably fatten it up a little bit and give it a little more clarity. Yeah, that sounds more natural to me. So that's the dry knob. The effects knob, if I take the effect all the way out, you'll get just dry bass. Let me put the effect back in. I'll even turn it all the way up. So that's a little, to me, a little too much effect, but sometimes you want that, that effect. I'm going to pull it back down to here. <laughs> 